The man has arrived. And the WWE Universe is on their feet. The following is a fatal four-way match. Making her way to the ring from Dublin, Ireland, Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch went from the pre-show at WrestleMania 34 to winning the main event of WrestleMania a year later. Won both the Raw and SmackDown Women's Championship that night on the grandest stage. Well, you could say that Becky Lynch has carved out a Hall of Fame career simply because she has believed in herself every step of the way. from San Jose, California, Bailey! A childhood dream to be on the grandest stage. Well, I don't see the same Bailey who used to write school papers about her dreams in this moment. That's because this Bailey inspires a generation. She is the epitome of ambition, a true role model. She has stolen the show on many occasions, and I think she's planning on doing it again here tonight. The epitome of glamour and ability, Eve Torres. And from Denver, Colorado, the Divas champion, Eve Torres. Don't get it twisted, Eve is more than looks. She holds a black belt in jiu-jitsu after training with the most notable family in all of mixed martial arts. A tremendous competitor, diva search winner, multi-time women's champion. Yeah, Torres is a woman to watch out for, but we also know she won't hesitate to manipulate the rule book. But Eve knows when to work hard and when to work smart. The Queen has arrived. Behold Her Majesty. And from the Queen City, Charlotte Flair. Well, I think we could all make a very strong argument that Charlotte Flair is Miss WrestleMania. A title the Queen has earned from breaking Asuka's streak to the first ever women's main event, winning the NXT title. There's nothing the Queen can't do on the grandest stage of them all. What a presence. Charlotte Flair proudly pulls the strings as the puppet master of the women's division and will gladly accept anyone who will bow down. She created her own divine right as the queen and intends to cause great pain and suffering to her opposition. 
You just can't game plan for this type of brilliance. No count out, no disqualifications. Those are the rules in this fatal four way with Becky Lynch, Bailey, Eve Torres, and Charlotte. I expect this fatal four way is going to devolve into chaos pretty quickly. I hope all four superstars are prepared. Look at that power, Byron. Yeah, that is just careless intent. Well, right after the shit, Dragon Screw. to not even get a two count at this point. Measured knee drop. Byron, a match like this is where we see how merciless someone can be. What will this come down to? This is about who can weather the storm. A superstar can attack at the will here. Everything is a weapon. That is what makes this so dangerous. It's anything goes. There are no limits here. And it can be chilling to see the lengths someone's willing to go to to destroy another human being. And by chilling, I mean beautiful. She's feeling the hurt here. Oh, the knee drop connects. Able to elude it. She avoids the contact. Into the barricade. She's pumping herself up, reaching out for that burst of energy. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. And that was an efficient display of offense with that maneuver. Oh, and a knee. In a knee. Endless knee strikes. From behind, back suplex. A demeaning gaze painted on Flair's face. What's coming next? A back suplex. Oh, yeah, she's saying, let's go, bring it. She needs to stop saying she's going. Lock it in, the dragon sleeper. This won't win the match, but it's doing a lot of damage in the process. Shoulders. Lands face first. How about another? And she slides her back to the mat. Answering back. And here comes all the faithful. The steel chair is in hand. She's starting to tire a little. This deep into a fatal four-way match, it's a wonder they're not more banged up. But the grueling nature of this match is definitely getting in now, gentlemen. Tree of Woe into the ring now. Getting tossed around. Catches the kick. Trying with precision. And the cover for the win. Kicks out before the two count. She is still in this fight. Oh, the reversal by Bailey. Oh, man, low close line. Oh, and that will keep Torres at bay. Full control here. Oh, nice suplex. Flair moved at the right time. And how lucky Bailey without an answer to that attack. Well, this deep into a fatal four-way match, you gotta expect to be a little worse for wear. That breaker. Oh, she responds with a counter. She's into the ring again. The fan. Screw. Wow, that hurt. Hoist it up. My good 
goodness. Tagging this outside. This could be good. And it looks like she has swift justice in mind. Going for the kendo stick like that. Strong suplex. A complete lack of respect from Bailey to the ding dong across from her. Defeat. You have to think the temperature of this match has just been turned up a notch. Was not able to seal the deal with her best move. Now she's asking, what more can I do? And finds a counter. Got the underhook. Nice standing back. Will it be? I think so. Inside the ring. Can't prepare your face for that. She's taking a beating here. Well, this deep into a fatal four-way match, you've got to expect to be a little worse for wear. Bang! Great awareness as she proves to be too quick. She's surely revving up, but she better put the rubber on the road already. Oh, what a clothesline. Nice takedown. Saw that coming. But step in the way. This is nasty. She sent flying into the corner. Slap! Oh, no, you didn't. Yes, she did. Flair retaliating. Ooh, Becky just aggressively going after that arm.
absolutely thrilling fatal four-way win here tonight. Truly against all odds, managing to squeeze out the victory. Yeah, the other three competitors did not make this easy.